Okay, we're live. Good. And we're live. Well, before we start, I want to say Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. That's right, it is Thanksgiving. Today is Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> it's awesome. We've been, uh, <clears throat> I think yesterday was the last day of like my Thanksgiving festivities. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, Monday we did Friendsgiving, which was a lot of fun. And then yesterday we had my parents come over and my suegros come over. And we went out for like a birthday dinner because yesterday was my birthday. It was it yesterday? Or was uh, it two days ago? Monday was your birthday. Mo- yeah. So we, in a way, we celebrated your birthday Monday and Tuesday. No, Tuesday was my birthday. Tuesday and what's today? Wednesday. Today's Thursday. Today's Thursday. So Tuesday Dude, was your all birthday. Week my my days have been messed yeah, up. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're we're on Thanksgiving break, so it's kind of like yeah. all over the place. Yeah. And we're recording this a couple of days after our normal recording schedule, and early in the morning. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's like seven mm-hmm. normally we record at on mondays at like five thirty, six o'clock right now it's thursday at seven in the morning <laughs> yeah. yeah and i'm proud of this guy you showed up on time <laughs> <laughs> well dumb, i can show up on time when i want to <laughs> yeah but tuesday we did our friends friends giving and then kind of a your birthday celebration too and yeah. then yesterday we hung out with uh karen's family and then mom and dad came over and we went to cracker barrel and we yeah. went, had dessert at their place. And now uh, today, Gabby and I are going over to her side of the family. So we still have things, a lot of Thanksgiving food to eat today. Yeah. And I feel like you guys like built up to it. Yeah. Well, well, because like Friendsgiving was, there was a lot of food and it was good. And then it's like, yesterday was Cracker Barrel, which I love Cracker Barrel. It's so, it's good, so good. And then I feel like over at Gab's place with her family it's like an oh, all out they, like full thanksgiving stuff yeah they always have so much food like this year they're doing a, a lunch and a dinner so like you can come during lunch or come during dinner or stay for both dang is that much food? yeah just just cause, i mean they make so much food every year regardless and there's always not that many people take home food so there's always oh. so so much leftovers for them i mean gabby and i always take food i should but, brought a tupperware for for me so you guys yeah, could yeah. Fill, <laughs> fill me up too <laughs> Shoot, if you want some, I can bring you some. <laughs> uh, shit, maybe low key. <laughs> they, they make really good ham. Like they make all the, all, all the, the good things. stuff. And then like, the amount of food that they make, there's the same amount of dessert. Dang. So who makes it all? Uh, her like, aunt. In between, like just the family. I would say her aunt makes the most of it. Do you know how how it like? Does she start like the day prior? Like I'm assuming she doesn't just make the desserts like the day of um because like the stuff that she can make prior and just put it in the fridge i would assume that's what she would do. I, I would assume so i don't know what she does but i would assume she does do that because there, there's a lot of food to be made and usually i mean i think yesterday she was at her, uh, gabby's grandma's house making everything so she was kind of helping out too mm. it, it's kind of all a, a group thing but it's at her aunt's house and she usually makes the majority of it and we usually take desserts like we're making cake pops and then her brother knows favorite cookies because it was his birthday yesterday too. Oh, for real? Huh? No way. Yeah. So like every time we meet up for Thanksgiving, we Gabby always gives him uh, his favorite cookies that he likes from her mm-hmm. for his birthday. Hey, yeah. that's dope. And it's the red velvet sugar covered cookies. <laughs> oh, I've had those before. And those are really good. I, I like them, but at the same time, like it makes my teeth really red. <laughs> oh, because of the red velvet? Mm-hmm. What is red vel- red velvet? I don't know. Isn't it just like chocolate? I think so. Yeah. Dang. But yeah. So Thanksgiving is technically over for us, even though today's like the day of Thanksgiving. But today just filled with homework. <laughs> today and tomorrow. Which is kind of nice because you just kind of get a chill. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully I get like the majority of it done today, if not all. Because mm-hmm. like I said, one of my things is just really just like research and stuff. And then the writing shouldn't take too long at all. And yeah, I don't really have too much to be honest. Nice. But yeah, we honestly, I think Gabby and I have a pretty busy week because Tuesday we had the Friendsgiving. Yesterday we had the hangout with you guys. And today we have the Thanksgiving over at her aunt's. And then tomorrow we're actually spending the night oh, Thursday to Friday. Tomorrow we're going to uh, go look at cars for, for Gabby. Oh, to replace the one she's got right yeah, now. Yeah, because the one she has right now is it's a, piece, it's a piece of junk. <laughs> I feel like you guys always have issues with that one. Yeah, we've it's caused us so much like trouble with like trying to because their schedules are so busy 
and if mm-hmm. we just need a car that works. Yeah, at this the, point, it's more trouble than it's worth. Yeah. Nice. So we're going to, I don't know, we're going to see what happens. I work on at 2 on Friday, so I'm going to have to leave latest noon. So after that, it's all, it's all in Gabby's hands. So so tonight you're sleeping over at Lafayette? Yeah, we're sleeping over at her grandma's. Nice. Dang, dude. Yeah, because it's been a busy week for me, too, not going to lie. <laughs> like, Monday, they they, made, they made us do mandatory overtime at work. Mm-hmm. And uh, I worked Monday and Tuesday. Monday, I got off work. And then I don't think I had anything, like, planned, planned. Oh, yeah, with uh, just like the day with Karen before the week started to celebrate that we're on break. I just had a whole day with her. Nice. And uh, then I worked overtime again on Tuesday as soon as I got out. Oh, yeah, what um, time did you get out? I got off at like 11. Okay. And then by the time I go home, it's like 11.30 or so. And then uh, finish prepping the house, like cleaning it and stuff. And then um, doing like helping, like cooking a little bit. Well, not really me. Just more like prep work and like cleaning and stuff. And then we left to go to Friendsgiving. And yeah, that was, that was pretty much it for Tuesday. So. Also, I I talked to Andy yesterday and asked him if he was interested in coming on the podcast again. Hey, are you are you cool with him coming yeah. on? Yeah, for sure. I, I asked him on if he could come on Monday, and he said he, he doesn't think he has anything going on, so he could maybe make it. Like this Monday coming up? Yeah. Okay, I'm down. Um, Karen was so she was, last night. She was like, I really want to come on the podcast, but um, she, she was like, I don't know if I can get up that early. Oh, for today. Yeah, yeah. And then she, uh, I woke up to come here, and she was like, I don't know if I can make it. I'm like, it's all right. Aww. Me too. <laughs> yeah. So I told her, I'm like, dude, just wait until after finals. I'm like, that way there's no stress, no worries. Like, I'd rather have her here, fully here, instead yeah. of here really early and her just kind of like half asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like midday would be like the best time to get her. Yeah. Like around like two or three. Yeah, so we'll most likely have Andy on. Not this ep- obviously not this episode, but the next next episode. And Andy is the second guest from like the fifth episode, so he he's already been on here. Oh yeah, it was the fifth episode. Yeah, something like that. Indeed. Also, we might in the future do the one chip challenge. We we were talking about that, like the ghost pepper chip. But dude, I think the ghost pepper chip is like probably the hotter, right? Well, it's hotter, but it's also, I think it's pricey. Like, it might be like... I think it's like 15, 30 bucks per oh, really? chip. I thought it was like 50 bucks per chip. I don't I don't think it's that much per chip. It might be like 20. I don't think 50. Hold on, let me... Uh, I can look it up real quick. Yeah, I don't want to accidentally close it. <laughs> <laughs> and just lose my audio. <laughs> that would suck. But I feel like now that we did the last dab, low-key, I feel like I can handle any of it, any spicy. Dude, low-key, I feel like I can handle the the hot wings from B-dubs. I, I want to go in there and just do the challenge. Dude, honestly, we should just order, like, five wings. Are are they allowed to send those out? Because I, I, uh, I understood oh, that the really spicy wings, they only do them at the store. Oh, well, why would know. they do that? I don't know. Danger huh. issues, I don't know. Said danger issues. <laughs> they, they're they're that bad. Twenty bucks. It's twenty bucks. Twenty bucks per chip. Yeah. I've seen people take the chip and like literally, there's so much snot coming out of their nose. Mm-hmm. That would be me. But I've seen some people that even the ones that handle spice pretty well, like feel it for a little bit but like it's not like what anybody else feels but they still feel it but then i've also seen somebody take it and then like not react react at all yeah maybe it was like the editing in their video oh but i don't know because were were there jump cuts i don't remember maybe but speaking about editing do you know how you're most likely going to get a tv today you should probably make that one of your videos for your channel to get a TV, yeah. <laughs> oh, getting but then a new TV. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't even have to necessarily f- film with your your camera. You can film with your phone. So yeah, it's a lot more yeah. convenient. Yeah, because like I- I'll just transfer the files onto my computer and like delete. Because like one of these videos takes up like eighty gigs. One of these. Yeah, like sixty to eighty. Dang. 
Maybe. for an hour. Because you have how many videos on your YouTube channel? I think you have like four. four. Yeah. Dang. But I've been like stalking like your YouTube channel. I've been giving you views constantly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> Dang. But uh, so last night I was like going through like the notes that I have for today mm-hmm. for like topics. But I accidentally deleted them. <laughs> Because I was, like, going through and just deleting a bunch of, like, random stuff that I had. Because I got stuff on there from, like, four or five years ago. Damn. So I was going through and just deleting those notes. And, yeah. Yeah. So. Well, I have a pretty good topic I want to talk about. Um, I've been thinking about starting my own YouTube channel. Hey. Yeah. Like, just kind of, like, vlog-related or? Just whatever I want to do. Pokemon yeah. cards. Opening yeah. Pokemon cards. Dude, dude, <laughs> why not? Opening my own channel. I don't know. I mean, you literally have, like, now you know how to edit. Mm-hmm. you know so it wouldn't be too difficult but what, what would my channel name be it should be your name jose palafox do they yeah. have any jose palafox or you can go like like deep into the the well oh shit they do wait what What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Apparently, they have a Jose Paul Fox on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> For real? Yeah. So, um, what he's looking at, I'm screen recording it right now. It's uh, my YouTube channel that I started, I think, like three weeks ago. Bro, these like thumbnails are pretty go. good, fam. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Bro, to make the thumbnails, I used the pick monkey, but as soon as I made it, I had to delete it so you wouldn't see it. <laughs> Dude, and the thing is, I don't really go on there all that much. I so I what if one day I went on there while you were working on it? That's why I always told myself, I'm like, all right, you got five minutes to make this thumbnail. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I was so tripped out. You showed me, and I was like, "Bro, that looks like you." And then you know what I thought? I'm like, "Bro, somebody like it's that one guy." (laughs) Oh no, no, no! I was, I was like, I was thinking in my head. I'm like, "Dude, somebody's making videos like thinking like in your persona." Oh what? (laughs) Yeah, I I thought I literally was thinking. I'm like, "Dude, somebody made a Jose Palafox and used your profile picture." (laughs) Yeah, and and then I saw the thumbnails. I'm like, "What the fuck?" And uh. Today at three o'clock, uh, one of my Thanksgiving videos comes out. For real? Yeah. So how come you didn't put it out like saying? Because the last one you put out was three weeks ago. That's almost a month. The last one? Yeah, when you guys get the couch. No. Uh. I think no. The the first one you put out. The first one I put out, the breaking the ice one. No, it says assembling new IKEA couch. Oh. Oh, you have to go to the oh. videos and it shows all of them. Dang, yeah i mean i i didn't want to like post it and then post it to everybody i just wanted to like kind of like f- see how how it felt making like my own youtube videos on my on the channel so like uh. i was having so much fun just like posting it and then there was this one day because so the max views it would get is three from me from gabby and then from it the my channel mm-hmm. like i would view my own video so yeah the max views it would get is three and on one of the view, one of the videos, I I got like seven views. So I was like, well, "Who's this?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, who are these extra four people? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Watching my well, shit. I was so excited. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't. I don't know. I just wanted to like start it off and then just see how it goes. But now I decided to to show you. Yeah, Mary Cruz knows about it. I told her on Saturday. Of course she does, dude. <laughs> She's the only one that knows. Dang. Yeah. So now you've got to keep up with your YouTube channel. All right, bet. Dude, that's so dope. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So later today, uh, I have a video coming out at three. I usually post at three. Uh, On Thursdays? Uh, just whenever. Uh huh. There's one. It's not like upload schedule. Yeah, it's just kind of like when it comes out. It comes yeah, out. just when it comes out, it comes out. Cause I, I've been uploading. I think like two times a week. Mm. But last last week I think it was only once. This week will only be once because I don't have a. Or actually no. Yeah, this week will only be once because Sunday we're putting up our treat and I'm gonna record that. A, yeah, yeah we, we put up our treat yesterday. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it was like right, right like we cleaned and like the the house was ready for like uh, like people to come over, and 
um, Karen was getting ready. She's like, hey, like, you guys can put up the Christmas tree right now. And I was like, bet. <laughs> like, I, Let's do it. Yeah, because I was just chilling on the bed, like, waiting for her to get ready because um, I was ready. I was showered, like, ready to go. She was just, like, doing her hair and then, like, maybe some makeup. And, like, she, she was, like, really close to getting ready to go, too. And then Alma was, like, really close, too. And then Karen just goes, like, I was on my, I was just laying on the couch to watch YouTube, on the bed, watch YouTube videos. And then she just goes, hey, like, you can put up the, the, the Christmas tree if you want. And I immediately, I just, like, got up and, like, I was, like, bet. Yeah. And I just, like, got all, everything out. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> yeah, literally, dude. And, uh, yeah, so now it's up and it feels good to have the Christmas tree up. Yeah, I have a thing where we can't put it up until after Thanksgiving. It's just weird. Yeah, like, see, I was going to do the same, but I'm like, but you there's had, a perfect opportunity right now. And we had like an hour or like an hour and some change before anybody got to the house. So I'm like, dude, like, let's just take advantage right now. Because yeah. we're not going to get a better time. I'm, I'm pretty excited. We plan. I think we plan on setting it up over there in that corner. I think, I think that'd be the best corner. Yeah, because we can't really move the couch or if we could like maybe forward. No, it wouldn't really be back there. I think it'd be over there. Yeah. Yeah, r- r- um, right over there is good, because then it's like everyone sees it, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna be recording that, and that'll be my my next video. So you've been using your phone? Yeah, Maybe. I've been using my phone. It's that's uh that's why I have that. Uh, Gabby oh, that was the whole reason you <laughs> got yeah. it. Well, I didn't get it. Gabby got it for me for my birthday. Oh, because but for the for a YouTube for my channel. for my channel what <laughs> she didn't get it for the podcast <laughs> but when she gave it to me i'm like you guys are good at bamboozling <laughs> <laughs> when she gave it to me i'm like babe i'm like what am, what am i gonna tell pablo and she said just tell him like you gotta uh stand for his phone now i'm like oh you got it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah she she got it for me for my birthday and then i recorded my first video that weekend okay so you recorded your first video that weekend, but when did you actually put it up? They went out like two days later. Nice. Yeah. The it bro, the first video is really cringe. <laughs> Trust me, have you seen mine? <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I would go back and look at yours and see what you did with the editing. So I kinda like in a way as as like my videos go, the footage and editing gets a lot better. Especially yeah. this next one. Oh. Like you're talking about like the one for the one coming the t- at- the one coming oh, out today. Oh, the one coming out today? Yeah, yeah. At three? Uh-huh. But the one Wait, so mom and dad don't know either? No. <laughs> Bro, they're going to lose their shit. <laughs> Bro, nobody knows but Marie Cruz and you now. Well, Marie Cruz is really good at keeping secrets. Yeah, she is. That's why I told her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yesterday, we were talking about YouTube at Cracker Barrel, and I had a text her. I'm like, shh, like, nobody knows about my channel yet. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're like, she, like, make sure you keep it on the low. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I've gotten, I think I've gotten pretty good at editing and, like, youtubing how to edit <laughs> yeah yeah well i mean it's really unless you're doing something crazy like it's really not that hard mm-hmm. like there's plenty of people that do youtube videos that do minimal editing the only thing they do is jump cuts yeah like they don't add any extra like noises or any extra pizzazz to the video and they have like 100k plus followers you know I just I, mean? I just have to find like this sweet spot of when to cut the video off and then when to put the next one onto it, like when to do the jump cut. Oh, um, if you if you go and like, cause like you know when you're talking, right? And like in between words, sometimes you take like a little break. There's a, uh, like the volume. Yeah, the volume. Like you yeah. just like click until you don't hear anything, and then you cut, and then you go onto your next one, and then like on like right like to where it's gonna start. And then right when you're about to say something, like a split second before, like when it's when there's no noise, you make the cut and then you combine them. No matter what, it'll sound a little bit like choppy mm-hmm. just because like you're cutting from one word and then it goes into the next word. And it like maybe it's like a different sentence or something. But if you cut it right, at least you won't have like the weird like stopping or cutting in the middle of your word. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was having issues with uh, fast fast forwarding a part a video part and cutting it so like for example in one of my videos i'm on the stairmaster for 10 minutes and i record all of it but i like put it at like 900 speed so it can yeah. go really fast and in between in the clip i stop and talk and i would i i know how to do it now 
but before like i would change the speed and or no i would cut it and then i would change the speed but whenever you do that whenever you cut it and then change the speed on the other clip the clip becomes full again so like the part you cut cut out of that clip is back so when i was editing that video like that oh, that stair master oh, part was like it. three whole clips of that specific clip so how'd you end up doing it um i just dragged and dropped well i didn't i didn't do it for the video i just left it all like straight through so you like you see me go in really fast and go back out really fast you just mm. i just left it out because i get, i was getting really frustrated yeah but now um there's probably a way better way to do it but i just drag the video drop it grab a whole new one of it and then use that cart uh trim it down to that piece i want it and then just grab a new one or just uh copy and paste the other one yeah well then, i i think that's probably the way to do it though yeah because I, I don't think there's like another like way way to make that happen because i didn't know as soon as you change the speed the whole video became whole again and it was pissing me off <laughs> yeah well it's like when i was learning how to do the zoom on like my last video where like i zoomed, zoomed into your face bro i was there for literally like eight hours really trying to do the zoom i figured it out immediately right like the my first time going i figured it out but then there was something wrong with it to where were you like, having trouble zooming it out yeah because like it, it zoomed in to your face perfectly oh yeah that was the thing so it zoomed in but and then um and then as soon as it zoomed in it like and then after like the effect was over it just cut back to the regular like the regular cropped video right like the regular uh -huh. looking one but i wanted it to zoom in and then just like zoom back out and when i try to add a zoom back out thing or whatever it just stayed zoomed in on that area of the screen so then whenever you moved and stuff it was still on that screen not on the face yeah exactly so then it sounds like oh man so then so i just like deleted it and then like restarted it right and then but when i restarted it it wouldn't work how did you end up get it working because on one of my videos i do a zoom well when i was doing the zoom for the the podcast video Mm -hmm. it's it's just a zoom and then it, it goes back to the frame what you were trying to do is a zoom and then it zooms out right yeah well i think i just settled with zoom in and back to the frame okay because i just i couldn't figure it out and i was there for like hours and yeah editing is a very tedious task I, especially when you're starting to learn yeah it gets but I, once you understand it and once you get it like it'll go by so much faster you at, le at least you know what you're doing Versus having to stop at almost every step to look up on how to how to do it. Yeah, you know as, I mean? as soon as you know what the buttons do and what they're made for, you're you're set. Because yeah. like for one of the video coming out today, there's some editing in it, and I YouTubed it, and I was like the first part of it, I was like going step by step with the YouTube video. Mm -hmm. and then after that, I'm like, okay, like I know what this means, I know what that means, and then I just got it all figured out by myself. I yeah, I closed yeah. out the YouTube video. And I'm like, I got this now. Yeah, yeah. So that, that was that was pretty nice. And then, like, once you understand, then you start, like, thinking, oh, like, ooh, like ooh, I wonder if I can do this to the video. Mm -hmm. And then you just, like, with what you know, you start playing with, with those options, you know? It's dope. That's crazy, though, dude. Sorry, the YouTube channel. Yeah, so go check it out. Link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about changing mine, the name to it. To it's just, just my name. name. Yeah. Instead of Popsy. Yeah. You, can you do that? Yeah. Or do you have to you, make a whole new I, channel? I think you can. I think you have to make a whole new channel. Oh, fuck. I'll try and see what happens. Okay. If I have to make a whole new channel, then... Another I reason for myself. you to start. <laughs> <laughs> the, well, I mean, you're recording the TV episode uh, video today. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, and for, for that, I can actually use my camera. Because mm -hmm. I don't ever record straight for 45 minutes. You know, so I could actually use my camera. So that doing, way my phone doesn't have like a bunch of storage on there. Yeah, because you're doing just like clips and stuff. Yeah, like I think the most I've done is like 10, 15 minute clips. Or, I think, no, more because the gym workouts are normally like, yeah, like 20 minute clips. Dude, gym workouts are long. I didn't realize that. And it's yeah. so like it's awkward when you don't have somebody else with you. Like, I was setting that up, and the angle... I got better at the angles, because I have, like, three gym workout videos. Uh -huh. And I was... 
the first one, the angles are like super bad. And there's not but the really... thing is that to get good angles, it's it's almost like not not cringy, but it's almost like hella hella obvious. It's like oh hey, you're... I'm filming by the way. Yeah, yeah, literally. Because at the squat rack at my gym, um, the only way for me to get a better, better angle is to put it in the path that people walk, or to put it in the other squat rack that's right next to me. Mm. So I put it like. Here's a squat rack, and I put it right here. So it, it, the angle is kind of like that. So you're kind of looking at me like that. Yeah. But it's hard because then it's like, like if you want more like up angles, you, you have to stack shit and then put your tripod on top. Yeah, I, I haven't tried that. The only up angle I have is when uh, Gabby and I went to work out and she was recording. Yeah. Other than that, it's just on the floor and looking up at me. <laughs> yeah. And do you leave it well, no, because it's your phone, right? Yeah, it's my phone. So you like do like a couple sets, or you record, like let's say you're doing like the squats, you record your whole squat session. Oh no, I just record one set. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I I want to record the whole squat session and then just put whatever I want, but right. when I record, I can't listen to music on my on my oh headphones right yeah because yeah. my phone is recording. Right. So I just do one set because I really like listening to music. And the music at the gym usually is pretty bad. Yeah. So I, yeah. I usually just do one clip of each set. Okay. So like you see me squat, a, a clip of me squall. You, I, usually when I squat, I add a couple clips just because like I start off with 135. I, I go to 225, 275. And, but it's just me with those clips. But after that, like you see me like, benching and i don't i usually don't start recording until i'm at my, my third set because if i do a warm-up set the video is going to be boring it's just going to be a bunch of warm-up sets yeah you're just like it's like dang this dude really just uses the bar to work out yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i i need to get better at like storytelling like making the video a story in a way dude yeah and that's kind of the thing and for me i would forget to record a lot like there's a bunch of video like recordings i just deleted because I, I would start the day off recording and then like I would I would be going throughout the day and be like, dang, I forgot to record. Mm -hmm. And then it happened like two or three times. I'm like, well, I just missed like three important parts of the day. And instead of me just like sitting there and like like telling about it, I don't have any footage to back it up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So then it's like, dang, like, so I just wouldn't record anymore. I, I slowly got out of it. I've been pretty good at, at keeping up with recording. Because Gabby helps me, too. If I, like, forget, she's like, oh, I thought you were, you, you were going to record that. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but usually I'm, I'm pretty good at it. But um, I really like, so I've, I've made one Pokemon opening video. <laughs> yeah, I saw. I saw when you were scrolling through. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's so easy. Like, I use that to, like, record my hands. And then I use uh, Gabby's phone to record my face. Hey. So it, it has, like, the whole video is my hands and at the top corner is my face hey yeah. nice <laughs> yeah it's it was pretty fun doing it hell yeah so i need to get val on my channel one of these days <laughs> yeah dude, you could make a guest um appearance with him yeah have him bring all his his good shit yeah or see if he he'll let you um get into a shrine and like record that oh that's and right. have him like kind of walk dude that can like, be a explain. whole video just of a shrine yeah well, that could be like two videos, honestly, because I just explaining what everything is. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, and like that could be two videos. Like if he's cool with it, just roll up, and then like the next time we're all over, just like record it and have him like talk it all out, and like I can, I'll just like hold the camera right <laughs> <laughs> for y'all. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll, yeah. I'll, see, I'll see what he says, so he can show off his prestigious book <laughs> hey, um when we were over with them talking about like how andy was saying that we should start a channel about opening pokemon cards like i looked at gabby and we're like <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're like way ahead of you <laughs> yeah but i i legit just record whatever i want on there yeah like i think the first video is uh the majority of them are vlogs because it's not really anything else i can record besides like I don't have any stuff to record video games. I can record Pokemon openings, but like other than that, it's just gonna be like workout. Not all workout videos, but like vlogs, like 
my second video was putting together this couch. Yeah. Yeah. And I personally think that's kind of like the way to do it. Like, cause you could also do skits, but it's like, personally, I think it's cool when instead of like sticking to one type of like style video, you do everything. Yeah. You know, like, cause then it shows like all different aspects of your life. Like the video, like the workouts, whatever's coming up today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like today I was going to record, but I thought about it and I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, th I think in my next video, I'm going to mention that I, cause the video before that, that came out, my newest one, uh, I, I've talked about uh, your channel and then uh -huh. I told them that I was going to be surprising you telling you that uh -huh. I have a channel. <laughs> <laughs> so my next video uh, the Christmas video. I think I'm gonna start off with like saying that I did, and if you don't mind, just sending me the clip of me showing you. I can just uh put it onto okay. the, my channel so they can kind of see it. Yeah. yeah. So, Cause, dude, I was like, <laughs> there was like visual confusion <laughs> uh, because you said that, and then like you literally were like, oh, I wonder if there's already Jose Palafox, and I'm like, I was like, I was legit thinking, I was like, well, I'm like probably not. I'm like maybe Jose, but maybe not like Palafox because. I've never really met anybody else with their last name. Uh -huh. And um, you showed me. And then, like, I saw the profile picture and I was like, what? So, wait, that's you. <laughs> Dude, I was, it was too early. I was so confused. I was like, what's going on? Yeah, so you had no idea? I mean, no, you don't, never talked about uh -huh. it. I, I don't just look you up on Instagram or on YouTube, you know? <laughs> yeah. at, at one point, I was like, what if somebody just looks up my name? And I'm like, Let's be honest. No one's going to do it. It's like, come on. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, because like, I just thought, I'm like, I'm like, what if one random day I just like YouTube your name on the YouTube search bar and saw it uh -huh. and like ruined your surprise. But like that never once crossed my mind. That that crossed my mind. But I'm like, what are the possibilities of that actually happening? Zero. Exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's no, like, what am I, I'm going to go look up Andy's name and let's, maybe he has a channel. <laughs> Maybe and find out. Yeah. yeah, we're about to find out right now. Yeah. <laughs> Look, he's got like like a hundred thousand subscribers right. already. He's got like a million subscribers. <laughs> yeah, that's where he gets his money. <laughs> oh, Loki, what if? I'm kind of curious now. What's his last name? Uh, Castillo. Yeah, Kay. but that that was one of the main topics I wanted to talk about and kind of show you. Nice. Well, I started going back to the gym on i think it was monday the day before my birthday we went monday on my birthday we didn't go just because it was super busy like busy day and like it's fine if i miss a day and then we went yesterday and i'm trying to go today because um actually i was looking at the bottom but there's no time but um the gym closes at noon it's yeah 806. Dude. 806 the hours are weird today they they're from eight to noon today for yeah, thanksgiving eight to noon which I'm, I mean, it's good because the people who work can go like celebrate with their families or whatever they want to do, but it's just weird gym hours, eight to noon. But the thing is, wouldn't it be cool to? I mean, it's it is kind of a big gym, but I'm thinking like a twenty four hour kind of thing. Yeah, because then it's like you sign waivers, you know, like when you're here, like you're kind of responsible for like whatever, you know, like uh, like what the other twenty four hour gyms do. And then you, you get a key card, an access card. And if you have the ability to get in, you get in. But if you don't, then obviously you don't. That's one thing in my fitness management class, I was like pondering about like, because in the class, we in a way have to, the whole class is about building your own uh, fitness facility. Uh -huh. And I was stuck for like a couple of days. I'm like, should like should I make my gym like 24 hours or like a certain amount of time? Because if I make it 24 hours, like what's the cleanli cleanliness going to look like? Like mm -hmm. if there's somebody overnight just like trashing the place and somebody, I don't know. Like, that's like the only thing I'm worried about is like obviously they sign waivers if they like trash the place. Like the, they're being recorded. Mm -hmm. But it's just like the cleanliness of the gym. How would that be kept up overnight? Or, like, should it just be cleaned up in the morning when, like, the janitor arrives or something? Yeah. I don't know. It's something I was thinking about. So, is that, like, an only concern, though? Basically. Like, okay. Because, personally, I think, and obviously, like, I don't know too much about the business aspect of it, of being, like, the owner, having a 24-hour gym. But I think for for the user, 
right? The gym goer, I think that's the best option. Because, it's really convenient. Because some people really just like like can't during some times. Or like let's say, oh, like the only time I could get in is this time. Granted, most people probably aren't gonna work out at like one in the morning. You know, if anything, they'll just come in a couple hours before you like open. But there are some people that do. Yeah. And and you kind of cater towards them. Mm-hmm. But then it's like but then you have the cost of, of like r- running all the electricity. 24-7. Yeah. Well, I, th- I think they do anyway, no? Like, they always keep some lights on. I know I restaurants so. do that. Well, no, I think they completely turn off all the lights at the gym. Okay. Because I've always thought, I'm like, a 24-hour gym would be best, in my opinion. Yeah, I think so, too. You know but like I, mean? I said, my only concern was just like the cleanliness and it's nice because the 24 hour gym, um, you don't necessarily have to make your schedule to the gym because they close at a certain time. You can just go to the gym whenever you want because right. you're going to be open 24 seven right. instead of like saying, Oh, I'm going to go hang out with my friends and, but I have to be home at six o'clock because the gym closes at 10 Right. and I need this amount of time to work out. And if I don't, it's not going to be a good workout. Mm. And with a 24-hour gym, you can just show up, stay the full time that you want, and just leave whenever you want. Right. And then maybe, like, have some things open or, like, some things closed that would be open during the day that after staff leaves, you just lock it up. Yeah. Like, like for example, like saunas, like, maybe as soon as staff leaves, they have to, like, lock it, make sure nobody gets in the sauna Yeah. after hours just for, like, safety concerns. You know, I mean, the whole gym is a safety concern, but... So that way nobody passes out because they're like, I'm by myself. I'm going to do like like an hour in the sauna and they just pass out and die. I have a friend like that. If you're watching. <laughs> yeah. After like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and it's like, what are you doing? I, I usually always do 20 minutes. Yeah. I think 20 to 25 is a sweet spot. Yeah. Anymore, it, it's like you really not getting. It's nice. I like sitting there and just closing my eyes and feeling the sweat going down my face. Yeah. I haven't been in a sauna in a minute. And um, now that I'm bald, my head sweats so much more. Well, it's actually, it's it's a lot harder. This this is one of the topics I wanted to talk about. This is great. It's a lot harder for me to sweat now because I'm bald. What? Yeah, because the it it's sense. like a cooling system. So, like, my hair's gone and my hair would, like, help me sweat. But now that it's gone, it's, like, cool up here. Oh, Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. And with that, even before when I had hair, um, one of the things I wanted to ask you. So whenever like I'm so, something I noticed, like whenever we would do leg day or something, um, every time I would squat, let's say we're both doing like 225 and like, fa- I don't know if this is just how I work out, but like when I make face expressions and it's hard for me, like I have to like try and whenever I see you do it, you just, it's. I don't know if it's just because you're way stronger than me, but like I was watching your video when you were doing 275 for 10. When you when you were doing it, you were just like, was that hard? Like, were you trying? Because it looked like you were just doing it with ease. Because in my mind, I'm like, whenever I do 275 for like 10, I'm like, oh, fuck. Like on the eighth one, I'm like prepping myself to go back down. And then when I go up, my whole face is red. And I yeah. rarely see your face red. Like, is it just me that, like, I'm, huh. I need to try harder? Well, okay. No, if anything, weak? so, okay, I haven't powerlifted in a while, but when I would, my, I remember I wouldn't make a face when I'm going for strength stuff and, like, like two, three reps or, like, like one rep stuff. Like, I don't really make a face. Well, it's, it's not necessarily, like, making a face. It's just, like, let's say you're walking next to me while I'm squatting. You look at me, you're like, oh, this guy's working. Let's say we walk next to you while you're squatting. Like, oh, this guy's just moving that like nothing. Like, is that just me being weaker? I think that might have something to play with it. Because then if you tell me to squat 315 for 10, you know, but I don't think my face gets, like my face will get red on the way up for a little bit. But then once I come up and I catch my breath, it, the redness goes away. Because yesterday I did 315 for, I think it was, I said three sets of three or three sets of four. I don't remember. But, um, that, that was pretty easy for me, mm-hmm. but I was like working like, mm-hmm. but it was easy. Cause I know I can do more 
and but like you were still all red yeah i was like if you looked at me it probably looked like i was like legit dying but like for me like with my the way i work out that was like easy for me it could just be that's just the way you are i was thinking about that the other day it's a really random topic but i'm like this because i've never the only time i i even when i do like high rep stuff i don't really get red when i do high reps that's when i start making weird ass faces you know i start like going like this long fucking <laughs> Dude, i i look like i'm dying like when i'm doing high rep stuff it's like the last rep it, my face is red veins are all over my head yeah i I've, i'm like dying it could be maybe using your breathe probably like, like your breathing is yeah. off because usually when i squat i hold my breath down and then sometimes i let it out when i go up mm-hmm. or sometimes i just hold it all the way and then let it out when i yeah. go up well because technically you're supposed to hold it the whole time mm-hmm on the way down, hold it and hold it even on the way up to keep that pressure. But I know some people and I, I kind of do this like on the way down. I like hold it nice and tight. And as soon as I come up, I like start letting it out, you know? Well, you don't necessarily need to hold it all the way down and up. It's just a matter of like up because you're, you're breathing in doesn't mean your core is not tight. So you can keep your core tight and then breathe in on the way down and then breathe out on the way up. Mm. Does that make sense? Kind of like a, yeah like that but like better okay yeah because i've i've always done it to where I'm, i hold my breath the whole time that's that's what i do now but like with anything i i think it's just breathing because yeah. now that i think about it i'm always not breathing <laughs> well, well well because when you, when you said that like you're all red and like you got veins popping up everywhere and stuff i'm like well it sounds to me like you're not breathing bro yeah you know what i mean because normally if i if i'm doing it like uh like I hold my breath during the movement, but when I'm up on the top part, I make sure to like, like exhale what I got and quickly inhale. Or if I'm like really struggling, then I'll start like adding breaths, like on the way up. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just because I don't want to, like, get lightheaded while I'm doing the exercise. Because the last thing you want is to get lightheaded and you got like 315 pounds on your back, yeah, or more. You know what I mean? The way the way I used to squat and my breathing it was so bad. I would go down on my way up. I'd go <laughs> <laughs> on the way up. Oh, yeah. shit. When I first started squatting, dude, yeah. it was so bad. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Dude, I, I was going to squat yesterday, but they were all busy. So I just used the the leg press. I know you recently told me that you changed your fitness goals. What are they now? Yeah. Well, it's just because like every single time that I stop going and I come back, I, I tend to just do like the same shit i've always done so it feels like oh like i'm just doing the same thing again Uh uh-huh so then like everything else kind of falls into place whereas now i'm doing more like working out but like slash functional not really like bodybuilding or powerlifting like i want to do high reps i just want to get lean and like muscular so like high reps um i'm trying to do more like uh eccentric work like the day I did uh, yesterday, I did step ups with twenty five pound dumbbells, and they're like it was, it was the the thing was pretty high, and I would go up, and then I'd hold it for like a second or two, and then I'd slowly go down in like three like three to four seconds, and as soon as my back leg touched, I went back up, and I just did the slow movement down, you know. Yeah. Honestly, I think I think it just cause like. I I am I'm 25 now and I'm like, I don't want to hurt <laughs> like I'm tired of my back hurting. Okay, you're not that old, man. Dude, but it's preventative. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it it's is. all preventative stuff. So like going down, I'm like, oh, like I'm helping like my tendons and my knees and like maybe my hips and maybe like my ankle, you know, like stabilize and like get strong because it's the eccentric movement when like shit like that happens, you know. So I'm like, and it'll help like from day to day life, like. If I got to take a big step up or I'm going up the stairs. <laughs> but for real, though. Jeez, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, I don't know. I, I haven't made, like, an actual program yet. But I'm, I'm just, it's more functional. I want to do more cardio, more abs. Because I want my 25th year of life to be the year that I have visible abs. There you go. You heard it here first. Yeah. Oh, and now it's out there. Yeah. So now if I don't do it a year from now when I'm 26. And You're going to watch back to this and be like, 
Yeah, I'm gonna be like 20 pounds heavier and be like, yeah, nope. <laughs> or you're gonna watch back washing your clothes on your stomach. <laughs> if it happens, okay, next year, uh, during this time, if I got, well, when I have abs, there you go. I'll, I'll play it out on the podcast. I'll be like, it's it's really hard to have visible abs, though. Well, because you used to have it. Yeah, but it was from like running like nonstop, nonstop. And yeah. I would eat rice and chicken and I would run. I don't know how much I would run because I didn't calculate it, but um, behind the park that we lived by, that trail, mm-hmm. and then crossing the street, the trail going under the bridge all uh, the way yeah, down. Yeah, like by the train. Yeah, I would go. So all the way down and back would be one for me. I'd usually do five. So technically 10. Mm-hmm. But you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So like down and back is one and I'd do five. Yeah. I'd do that and then in between each one – I, the trail in the park, I would uh, do lunges and squats, lunges and squats. And then on after that, I would go home and do like an ab exercise in the gym or in the garage. In, in the garage, yeah. yeah. Dang. Yeah, but it, I, I used to have visible abs, <laughs> but I was really I skinny. never saw you with visible abs. I, I have a picture, babe. Do you do you have the picture of me with uh, where you can see my abs? Can you pull it up so I can see Pop, so Papa can see it? Yeah. And then, uh, and then if you could send it to me, so I could put it up on the on the video too. Uh, it's it's kind of cringy. I don't know if you want to pull it. <laughs> Bro, have you seen your old face Facebook profile pictures? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you talk about? <laughs> well, I was a cringy kid. <laughs> I'm probably still cringy now, but I was. Well, it's different kid. now. Now you're just like you give off hella boomer energy. <laughs> when before it was just like like the obey like. Like the like that wasn't even my hat either. That was Poncho's <laughs> yeah. hat, bro. <laughs> oh, speaking of Poncho, we gotta get him on. We do. Yeah. I, so we've talked about Poncho in the past couple of podcasts, and uh, Weta reached out and um, he agreed to do an episode with us. So now we just have to work out when and like um, when, like when he can make it down here. Mm-hmm. You know, so to, you guys will record. see him sometime in the future, whenever we can. Uh, have him come down here because he's he lives about an hour and away uh, an hour away and hopefully his schedule works out with our recording schedule on mondays but if not we'll we'll see what we can do yeah, but if now we can adjust you yeah. know like like over the summertime um i'm thinking about taking summer classes but if i mean I, that probably probably be online so i'd be way more flexible with my schedule to do it like uh sometime monday through thursday mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah but having visible abs is really hard I don't know. I I think at one point like it's it's hard to stay full. Because well, I think it was hard to stay full for me because I was running all the time. Mm. But I would get home and I'd be so hungry. But I I'd want to eat like everything mom and dad had, like all like the, on their uh, plates. Well, no, like all all like the greasy food because oh, at one oh, point yeah. at one point I told I asked mom to make like a separate like chicken and rice for me. And, like, I showed her how to make it just, like, without all the, like, lard and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh, like, that's how you like it? And I'm like, well, specifically for this, yeah. yeah. So she started making it like that for me. And then I would eat eggs, too. I'd work out all the time in the garage. Yeah, but you just sent me the picture. Let me show it to you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you were a model, bro. <laughs> But I was really skinny, so I think that's the only reason it showed. <laughs> no, nah, but you did a lot of abs. Yeah, I did. You would hold like five minute planks or more. Damn, if, if I tried that now, I'd cry. <laughs> <laughs> a five minute abs. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro! And yeah. you got like some peck action going, bro. Uh, no homo, but like if you got like like fully worked on your abs really hard, you have like a good ab structure. Thank you. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like it's like lined up and like they're like nice and blocky. So if you got like if you like really worked on like if that was like a goal of yours and like you got hella abs, like it would look good. Shoot. My twenty third year of life is me having abs too. It me lo mandas. But yeah. But I have a plan. And okay, so when I was in Oki and I lost, like, a lot. Okay, one, I was, like, hella active back then. Uh-huh. Like, way more active than I am now. But whenever I'd go to the Chaha to eat, um, they would have, like, a salad bar, right? So what I would do is I would fill up my, like, a bowl with salad. 
and I put like a little bit of bacon bits, not too much, and like a couple of like um like hard boiled eggs that they had, and like just some some other stuff like greens and stuff, and a little bit of salad dressing, if any. And what I would do is, and then I would get like, like whatever they offered that day for to to eat to eat, and I would eat the salad first, and then and then I would go into like the meal but like because one of my things is getting greens and like the fiber and all the all the like nutrition that greens offer i don't really get all that because i can't be bothered eat yeah vegetables you know what i mean you have to go out of your way to eat them yeah yeah it's like when even when i cook at home it's like i'll make the protein like whatever protein i'm making and i'll make the rice and then i that's it like i don't eat vegetables don't even cross my mind it's just protein and rice yeah so I'm like, well, the easiest way to go about it to fix that would be to do what I used to do mm. and just have salads. You you were on a good pace over when you were in Oki. Yeah, like, it might have been just because like it was just you and you really have like much. Like, yeah, and the environment and over like there. the time zone too, and everybody was asleep when you were awake, so like you couldn't really like talk to anybody that was yeah. over here at least. Yeah, and like I think we mentioned it in the podcast before, but I'm not a real big partier. Yeah. You know, but like, so instead of going out or whatever. This is a guy who was always trying to get drunk now. <laughs> well, it's because like, I like, it's like, I don't get drunk often, but every now and like once a year, I like to get like pretty messed up and it hasn't happened yet. Christmas. Christmas is going to happen. Well, I'm taking stuff to sleep over yeah, over I there mean, now. I, I think we might too. Well, because it's, it's going to be over there now. Uh-huh. You heard? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because well, we all talked about it. Well, I think I was asleep when everyone talked about it because Karen told me. <laughs> <laughs> But um, because I I wanted to to do that yes or on Tuesday when we all went, but I'm like, ah. we 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 had stuff to do like the next day. Yeah, it, just, it it didn't work out. Yeah, so hopefully like for Christmas it'll work out. But it, it, it works out because you don't work the next day, right? The next day I, I do on Sunday. On Sunday, but I'm gonna see if it doesn't mess with my holiday pay mm-hmm. because that weekend I have Saturday, Friday, and Saturday off. So if if it doesn't mess with my holiday pay, so if it does, we should it. probably just do it on the Friday, no? Well, I would still work Friday, oh, Saturday. Wait. Well, no, that would work. Do it Friday, but but then everyone Spider-Man. else is probably doing something. Oh, the Spider Man, yeah. yeah. Spider Man No Way Home, all through Spider Man, dude. No, you heard it here. No, yes. <laughs> but I, you, I you don't were, think it's gonna be all three. I think so. I've seen so many things. I think I think so. But you were you were mentioning about you wanted switching up your your fitness and the way you were doing things like back in Oki. Yeah, well, cause like back there, it's just the environment. Like everyone works out. Like like you have your 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 like bodybuilding Marines. You got the ones that are just strong as fuck, and you you have your ones that just do a bunch of cardio and like body weight stuff, right? And uh, I, I I dabbled in like all of them, but like I got to like a 19 minute and like 40 second three mile run dang you know what i mean like at my best and like i would run to so i had a gym right next to the barracks i lived at it was literally like a five minute like two minute walk you know what i mean not far at all so i and it was 24 hours that gym was 24 hours so when we had long weekends off for four holidays i would literally go to sleep early like around seven Seven or eight, I would fall asleep, wake up around like three in the morning, be in the gym at four. Dang. Like, yeah, like four, like three, three or four in the morning. And I'd stay there until like, I had nothing else to do. So I would like, I would warm up on the treadmill for like 20 minutes. And then I. Oh, that's a smoke alarm. Don't worry, just casually dying over here. <laughs> Uh-oh. No worries. Gabby's just making cookies for Thanksgiving. Oh, nice. Good save, guys. <laughs> Our oven goes off like that, too, all the time for no reason. <laughs> but, yeah, so then, um, uh, what's it called? So, yeah, like, I would have nothing to do. So, I would literally, like... I'll do my warm up and then I do my um what's it called? And then I would do like my, my workout. 
I'll go back on the treadmill to run. I, I do um I do sprints. So I'd do like a, a quarter mile sprint and then I'd get off and I'd do like um like a circuit like uh max push ups, max whatever ab exercise, and then I would get back on and do like another quarter mile sprint and then just do that like until I hit a mile Dude, or so like mile you, and a half. you were on it like yeah, and then after that, I would run to the other side of the base, which was like a mile and a half or so. And they had a sauna in that gym. You so would I would run to the sauna? Yeah, and on the way there, if there was pull-up bars, I'd stop and knock out a max set. So you just, have to, you just have to have that mentality now to get those visible abs. Yeah, but the thing is like, I mean, yeah, but I, back then was like perfect conditions. Yeah. And back then, I ate like a monster, dude. I ate more than you. Like, I would go to Chili's to go over there. I would order two whole meals for me. And then I, and then I would have, like, like um, like a quarter-pound bag of, like, Sour Patch Kids. And then, like, <laughs> I would have, like, like a, a Coke or, like, some kind of, like, soda and, like, chips with my meal. Well, it makes sense because in Oki, it was, like, super humid and stuff. So, like, regardless, yeah. if you walked outside, you were sweating. And yeah. you were working out so much that you're... Like I felt I needed the food. Yeah, you, you know, you, if you didn't have the food, you'd be like really dehydrated, or like you wouldn't be able to function. <laughs> I I could have done with a little less food, but you think so? yeah, yeah, I definitely like took advantage of the fact that I didn't live with mom and dad anymore. Yeah, <laughs> and they, they, they ever they didn't wanted. say why are you bring home two meals, <laughs> bro. On weekends, um, uh, ah, I kind of want to save this for the next podcast. Okay, just because like we're we're running a little. Like it's towards the end of it, and I I want to save it because it's it's pretty intense how much how much I would eat, I'm and like a, for the fact that I mean I've always had aloha, but the fact that I wasn't like fatter and yeah. I kept up with all my like PT stuff. Just make sure you put it in your notes so we can talk about it next podcast. Okay, but yeah, I'm like I think my key thing is just going to be like eat eat like a like a whole bowl of salad, and then I touch my food. You know what I mean? So like, like, to, like just prioritize to make sure the greens. You, okay. Um, just because I I struggle with that, and it helps me keep me it helps keep me like satiated longer. But make sure you get like the right kind of greens, because if you get iceberg lettuce, that's gonna do nothing. Yeah, for you. I know. I, I like the um, either like the um, the spring mix. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Or literally just like a bowl of spinach. But yeah. Because iceberg doesn't doesn't do anything, and romaine's kind of like it's better, but same thing. It's just I feel like lettuce doesn't have much nutritional value. Yeah, it's just aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, I know. so I want I want to have like um, the spring mix because it has like spinach. It's got like arugula or like whatever other leafy greens are there, and yeah, like maybe maybe not every meal, but like majority of my meals start off with the salad. And then have my stuff. Yeah, well, shoot. Gabby and I are trying to get decently fit for our wedding. Yeah. I'm, and your wedding's coming up, so I'm trying to... Yeah, that's another at least, way. <laughs> I have to weigh myself, but I think I'm like at 240. We can do it after this. I have a scale. We should bring it up right now. Okay, but I'll, be right I'll put it on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, but last time I weighed myself, I was like 240-some. And I this this summer was no this fall a couple weeks ago was my second year that i was out of the military and um i left the military at like two like 210 or 205 so i put on like 40 to 30 pounds ever since i left Okay, okay. Let's see what you're at. Oh, no, you stay on it while it does that, yeah. 226. There you go. You said you were 240? Yeah. We promised it was 226. Here, do it again, and I'll, I'll video it. Go ahead. Two twenty six point six. Okay, so if I can get down to like two hundred, 
Dude, it's possible. What yeah. am I at? Honestly, that's here. I, I'll record this one if you want. Okay. Can I get your face? <laughs> Can I get your face? Wait, wait, wait. Can you, uh, make it in? Oh, dang, you smart over here, bro. Oh, yeah. Two oh six. Twenty-eight. You only 20 pounds every than me. Dude, you know what that means? Huh? I lost a shit ton of muscle. <laughs> That's what that means. Cause I'm, I still feel like I look the same as far as like body composition. Like, well, well, I think you look a bit, a bit thinner. Thanks. Like with like fat loss wise, you look a bit yeah. thinner. I, my body just fluctuates, and sometimes I don't even know what I do to but fluctuate it, like that. Regardless, when you're when you're losing weight. When you're trying to lose body fat, there is going to be some muscle mass lost. Yeah. But not like dramatically like people think like, oh, I don't want to do cardio because I'm going to lose muscle mass. Like right. you're not going to lose your whole fucking bicep. Right. But, um, well, for me, when I start losing weight or like not gym, that's one of the first things to go is my bi- my arms. Dude, my arms are so tiny. <laughs> like, like I, I feel it. so small, you know? Like I, I was at the gym the other day and I'm like, I looked at my arms. I'm like, I'm going to come here one day and just do arms. <laughs> yeah see i've thought about like just hit arms for like four or five months hard or like just close to a really year big arms yeah dude but um if you don't want to lose like lean muscle while you're losing body fat you need to like make sure you get all of your, your nutrition right what you're eating like yeah. calculate everything well i think like i want to take a new approach to like training and stuff and i think what i'm going to do is really just focus on losing body fat and like not really worry about muscle retention or too like much. strength training yeah yeah i mean i want to throw in some strength here and there but really just focus on like reps and endurance more kind of training you know what because I mean? at the end of the day if you want visible abs your goal should be to uh feel healthy not look strong does that make sense right right and like right now where, where i'm at now it's like i think i saw this post like a couple years back where it said like like just sacrifice like four or five to or a year or two to like really like get shredded, like lose the body fat, and then you just gotta maintain that and never never gain it back. And then and then worry about like bulking to like get strong or get like a lot of mass and stuff. And that's because the in the long run that works out better than just trying to do both at the same time that's my issue i'm trying to do both at the same time yeah and like bulking you would have to like try and do a clean bulk because usually i mean when i when i bulk i always do a dirty bulk which is kind of dangerous because you need to watch like your cholesterol levels and like you need to make sure you need to make sure your dirty bulk isn't getting you like heart disease (laughs) yeah because really what a bulk should be is just eat pretty much the same foods just more of it yeah (laughs) you know (laughs) let So, like, a, a clean bulk would just consist of a shit ton of chicken and rice. Yeah. Or whatever you want to Well, I mean, normally we eat chicken, but, like, we go back from, like, chicken breast, chicken thighs, or, like, we've we'll, been we'll on do the, a whole chicken. on the chicken thigh wagons Dude, recently. <laughs> chicken thighs are where it's They're at, so man. juicy. It's so good. <laughs> and when you go back to a chicken breast, it's it's hard mm-hmm. to go back to a chicken breast. I don't, I don't think I've had a chicken breast in a minute. We've had just yeah. chicken thighs. I mean, you so can good. make chicken breast juicy, but it takes way more work. Yeah. The chicken thighs, mm, that's where it's fucking at, bro. Yeah, dude, I agree. Well, we're at an hour and three minutes. Cool. Um, oh, yeah. So you guys saw, if you made it this far, you guys saw how much I weigh, 226. I lost like 15 pounds of muscle, but that's all right. <laughs> uh, next year, well, I'm trying to lose 20, these. I'm trying to get like 200 by the time for your wedding. Okay, you got twenty pounds, twenty six pounds to lose. Yeah, in six months, that's five months. Five months, that's doable, right? That's five pounds a month. That's that's doable. Yeah, that's probably the healthy thing to do. Yeah, just over five pounds a month. Yeah, but yeah, that was what is this? The ninth episode? Yeah, ninth now. Next episode is double digits, fam. (laughs) Oh, we gotta do something. It's gonna be with Andy too. If he does end up coming, we gotta do something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll talk yeah. off screen. But yeah, um, go check out my YouTube channel. Link yeah, yeah, check him out. <laughs> I'm gonna watch binge watch all his videos. Cause <laughs> that was news to me, bro. Yeah, go check out the YouTube channel and yeah. um, and I'll try to record. Yes, my we, YouTube. Channel. We need to get him to record because I want to collab. 
That would be hey, fun. <laughs> that would be lit. We, we could have a video where I'm recording and you're recording. <laughs> like, yo, vlogception. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're cringe, but it's fun. <laughs> Alright, well, ninth episode. Ninth episode. Drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.